Vex Vampire and we are going to be playing a beta of Blood Woods Reloaded or Blood Woods well, pretty much and that's what the game is called and we are going to be testing out the beta and I'll be just generalizing showing you what what this game has in store it is a beta after all so it can't be too harsh on it and we'll just give you an impression overall of what to expect. So here we go. So we'll put new game. In a small village in the center of Europe, something is happening. As the forest grows around it, it contains something very different. Its it wood is colored red and it is unique within the world that the facts has not passed the noticed by the world's largest logging company that the Whitewood Company, you are one of their best men and don't hesitate to send you to take over the exploration rights. As you reach the village, a chill runs down your back and your intuition tells you that you will not be e that this will not be easy and your intuition is something that you're not far and you never fail fail you. So we just we just go check out this town. So basically for the beta we just have to we can't really go outside the town. I'll just crank up the music a little bit. So yes, we're in the town. And uh basically we're here to explore what's going on with that whole red wood stuff. So we'll look around the town, look at the visually. You know, this company that's doing this game is a really small company and obviously they're doing all they can to work with the game. And this is supposed to be like, suspe like you know, those horror slash myst mystery kind of games. And, oh wait, I found, I think I found, no. Did I find something? Street light. It's full of bugs. Yeah, bugs. So yeah, this is a small company. They're doing works on this game. It's not the full thing yet, obviously. It's a beta. And I've been interested because visually how it looked so far with such a small company working on this. It looks really cool. Reminds me of an old, very old horror film. And I really like that kind of stuff. And overall, I was interested on the description of what it was, what it said. So I'm just going to look around. You can do this with your figure MMO style controls as usual or the arrow keys. It's a beer barrel. Yeah, I can't have beer sadly. And I have to find a place to go and people to talk to. I see, yeah. Oh, I think I found something. Can I use that to get the beer? <laughs> okay, so basically you start the game. I'm in a village. I have to interact with people. If I see people. Got a mouse. I'm just going through some stuff. So we're just going to look around and see what we could do. Supposedly, if like, you're a guy, you would, like, if you see that there's flickering, like, grass or graphics, it's, uh, I think it's just, like, you know, it's not complete, so, you know, there's little problems here and there. Oh, oh. Is the priest a wolf? He's gonna say, I'm too busy. I'm too busy. I know he doesn't look convincing yet, but he... I'm busy. Priests are not supposed to react like that. Maybe, hello sir, welcome to this quainted village. I'd like to make your acquaintance. Did you, did you find what you need? 
Or they can be real dicks. <laughs> I bet the priest is a werewolf. I think I could run. I think that speeds up the process. Okay, because there's supposed to be an inn. Ah, oh, here we go. No, it's closed. It's closed. Okay, did I pick up? Okay. So there's some clues around here. The bridge is kind of cool. Maybe that's the end. Farmer? Farmer? Hi Travis! He, does, he says I'm just busy. Okay, he just says I'm busy. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to inflict something. Let's go look at those weird trees. So is all the trees in here are weird? Thought that was something. Well, Travis doesn't want to bother with me. Travis the farmer. See, look at those trees. They're, they're unique, eh? Can I look at this tree? No, it won't let me analyze. Wait. It's a sharp stone. I'm gonna grab it. This stone could be useful. I'll take it. So, we got a pick thing. We got a stone. Here's the reddish trees. These trees are such a weird color. It's amazing. I don't know if I'd be amazed. I'd be like, are these trees bleeding? Are they, are they blood trees? You know, just my opinion. Bloody trees, trees that bleed. So it's gonna tell me I can't go out, but I'm sure this is just because for the beta you can't, you're not allowed. So I found like two objects. The grass is twitching ever so much. So, okay, there's lights open here. We gotta find the inn. Is this the inn? That's the priest. I wish the priest would tell me, hey, what you do? Where's the inn? Space bar is to jump. Maybe this is the end. This is the back entrance. Whoa, did I go through the door? <laughs> Whoa, I went through the door. Hey, I found the inn. What? 
That was kind of funny. I went through the door. Oh my god, it's so cool. I like the end. It gives me that spooky medieval kind of vibe. Oh my god, it's so cool. Let's go talk to Ian. Esther. Talk to Esther. Hello. Hello, stranger. Hello, Frank Bear. My name is Esther. Miss... Mrs. Esther. Why have you come here to our village? Uh, I'm an expert in forestry. I'm a tourist. I don't know what should I say. I'm an expert in forestry. Interesting. Which trees would you be interested in? My company is a very interested in these red trees around the village. We would like to take over the development rights. Is the village mayor? I have... Okay, whatever. Village mayor? We don't have a mayor. The person in charge in this village is the parish and priest. You will find him near the church. Your room is upstairs, but if I were you, I leave this village very soon. There is something strange happening here in the, this village. There is a very ancient legend that haunts this place, and you can try to talk with with Travis, the farmer, but maybe he can tell you more on the legend. Good luck. Here is your key. T the room is upstairs. I got the key. Okay, so maybe now the priest will cooperate with me. We got bacon, some seeds, and some apple. Did you hear that weird noise? And some peppers. Hmm, it's really cool actually. You know, for a beta and all, it's I think it's pretty cool. I find it funny when you run into the glitches. So my room's upstairs. Uh, can we see daylight? Okay, so my room. Room. Okay. Is this my room? This is my room. Do I have presents? I'll need to brush and freshen water. Hmm. You hear that? Seriously. It's my nice little room. This door seems like it was closed for a century. I'm sure something will attack me while I'm sleeping. Bring on the vampires or werewolves. A cute little it's temperature stove. Always gotta check your room for clothes. Right? I think. Is there something in there? Awesome! I got an oil lamp. That will make things easier. Do I have nothing? Nothing else? Oh wait, I got my bed. Got my stove. Got my wood. I need like oil. Just hear that heavy- oh wait. Matches! Right on. Oh. Okay. So after we do that, we gotta go talk to the priest and Frank. There appears to be a table, barrels, tons of stuff, and can I jump down? Oh yeah. Okay, so it's advised that I should go talk to those two people. So we'll go do that. On the spookiest of nights, the foreign expert went to go look for the priests. Priests, they seem like the good guys, but it's not always true. Okay, I found the priest before. 
da, 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 da. Who was up? Who was who was here? Mr. Priest, where I, oh there you are. you're sitting. Whoa, Mr. Priest, what are you doing? He's just in the ground. I'm busy. <laughs> He's just in the ground. So wait, I had to talk to the priest, so I went to the inn. So I go to the inn, then you, you you know I talk to the bookroom girl. And which was Esther, then I enter, turn to the innkeeper, turn love and you come out. And then I continue in the village and there's a wooden bridge. So then I could talk I found the stone and then uh it was a white tree trunk with red. I analyzed that and now I'm gonna go try to talk to the farmer again, see if he wants to ditch out stuff and then back to try to Okay wait, so I will take it. I will find a stone and take the leaves. Find a stone. Okay, I got an idea. So I talked to the priest. He doesn't want to bother with me right now. So right now, I think that stone, from what I understood, is that I could go like whack it because think of it like an axe in a way. So I use that and I whack it, the tree, and I bring it back to Travis. Or, or I go talk to Travis. Werewolves. Travis, will you help me? Hello, man. Ma. Good evening. Hmm, who are you? Oh, uh, I'm Frank. Nice to meet you. I'm John Smith. I'm a tourist. <laughs> no, sorry. No. What do you want? Um, I'm Travis. Sorry, I'm very hot. And my mouth is dry. It's very hard to work as a farmer, you know. I have to go get him the beer? Oh, of course I know. Sorry. Of course I know. Perfect. Okay, so I didn't realize this, but I didn't see the stone. It looked camouflaged to me. Derp. But that happens sometimes. That's why you go you go looking carefully over things through in the game. But here is the stone that I have to use to rub off, to chip off some stuff of the tree. So now I have to go talk to the innkeeper. I wonder if this game will be compatible with like a controller. Cause I think it'd be kind of cool to play with a controller. Cause a lot of games are having like compatibility with controllers. Um, okay, so now I have to go back to the innkeeper. Here's the end. Whoa, let's have a seizure now. Well, ah, okay, hi Esther. So we talk to her. Let me work, please. Okay, sorry, bye. But I have I have the branch. Unless is it on the line? Okay. I really thought I could talk to her. It says I was supposed to have that a a able to talk to her after I got what I needed. And then I'm supposed to get the guy his beer. Okay. So I get the beer. Got the lever. So I was able to see. It's just it wasn't showing. So let's grab some beer. Unless I'm supposed to get like a bucket or something. Yeah, probably like a bucket. Here, have a bucket of beer. Let's 
it. It's mighty tasty. So I chipped the wood. I need a bucket. Can I take that? Dude, you want to go have beer? Go have beer. Get the beer to him. Unless I'm not able to, is there a problem? Because I know I was able, I was supposed to get him the beer. Is there something else I didn't pick up? She doesn't want to talk to me. Priest is like, I'm too busy. So we got the beer open, finally. Just gonna leave it out there. Can I grab the beer? It's open. Yeah, it's open. Unless there's something in the inn. There's something in the inn. Can I grab a bottle? She doesn't want to talk really. No, she doesn't want to talk really. I need something that would hold the beer. Huh. Hey, cool. Okay, that's gonna withhold the beer. I don't care about those noises. Okay, now we should be able to go give that guy his beer. Should be able to give that guy his beer. Okay, get the glass. We got the beer. All right. Okay, so let's go. Tasty beer. You wouldn't give him water. You wouldn't give him anything else. It has to be beer. Could be wine, you know? But the man will get his beer. He deserves it. Okay, here you go, dude. Wow, you bring me a cold beer? A beer? Many thanks. You're welcome. Now, can I know more about the legend, please? Oh, young man, legend has it that long ago, in a place, dark rituals of practices, even human sacrifices, the ancient evil deities of the go that these are still vested through coverings and forms of ruins deep in the forest. The blood of these sacrifice was absorbed by the by the earth and the well i think they meant earth and because of it the trees were taking that and the Christ and r the reddish colors of course it's only a legend no one could prove it the legend also says that it exists breeding in the forest endless mazes by poor wandering souls and slaughtered and their blood flowing in the river and the cave my my term was that the trees got the blood too, you know, we're thinking Sleepy Hollow. Thinking Sleepy Hollow right now. Kind of give me that Sleepy Hollow. Those caves also, it's noted that there is a way to stop the river and restore peace to support those poor devils. 
I'm really incredible. Yes, of course. But now I must ba to must go back to work now. Good luck. Congratulations, you have finished the beta of 